like here at Rosemont in Gallatin, Tennessee. The Guild Home is one of the most haunted places in Tennessee. Let's go inside and talk to Eli about some of the stuff that goes on in the building. So we're in the parlor at Rosemont. Eli, you tell us about some of the activity here in this room? Uh, just recently, over the past few weeks, uh, we've had a little bit of activity right here in the parlor, and it makes sense because this was the center of the house. This was kind of the center of entertainment here at Rosemont. Um, but here in the entranceway, we have a calling card dish with calling cards, reprints or scans of original calling cards from Gallatin. So they're not original items, but they're scans of original items that visit people visited here at Rosemont. About two weeks ago, I came in and uh, these were all, it was like somebody had brushed them off and just a couple of cards had fallen off and the ones on the table, is this card right here. The rest are on the floor. And I noticed it and I even took a lighter and lit and tried to find drafts in here. I, you know, I thought maybe air or wind was leaking in. Couldn't find any. Our fireplaces are plugged because they're all gas. They're sleeved and plugged. Um, so really the only air that could have came in was around the keyhole and the key was in the keyhole at the time. Uh, put them back, next day came in, same thing. Next day came in, the same thing. Four days in a row, exactly the same thing. It was always the same card sitting up here. Uh, well, after the fourth day, I told somebody about it and I took a picture of it on the fourth day. And uh, it's typical here when I start picking up on things happening and I document it or I tell someone about it, it stops immediately. So it hasn't done it since then. It's been about a week and a half. But by weird coincidence, that one card, the very first name up is my fifth great uncle, hmm. Tyree. Interesting. From Tyree Springs in White House. Uh, he visited here at Rosemont, and uh, like I said, I don't know if that's coincidence or not, but it, it's pretty cool to me. Has there been any other, other kind of activity or? Yeah, we pretty pretty staple to get activity in here. The most, I guess, unnerving thing for me, a uh, year and a half ago, I was giving a tour, broad daylight. I'm sitting here in front of the fireplace talking with my hands like I always do. Uh, and a lady was on the tour standing just right behind where you are. Uh, and she was taking pictures with her phone as, as I was going through the tour. And she snapped two or three pictures of me standing in front of the mirror. Uh, and in the picture in the middle, there's a guy standing behind me, uh, between me and the fireplace right here. And he's a little bit taller, slender guy, dark, but he's kind of, uh, he's in color, but it's an opaque color. Uh, and what was weird is you can see the back of my head in the mirror, but his head was not in the mirror. Uh, she found the picture about 20 minutes after we took it, came back into this room, we'd gone to another room by that point, came back in and everybody that was in this room, we tried to recreate it for several minutes and never could. Uh, so that was kind of the most unnerving one for me, but it wouldn't be the last time that, that actually happened in a picture. So I'm kind of used to it now.